Yeah, Troy, this looks like a huge logistical operation. There's a large forklift right there bringing in another pallet of water. You see the huge amount of water they have, the National Guardsmen, who are giving it out to folks in a very long line here at the mall. This, of course, is going on at seven sites across the city as most people don't have reliable drinking water. Now, as for what's happening at the OB Curtis Water Treatment Plant, the mayor and the governor are appearing jointly for the first time since this became a national, a federal disaster, emphasizing that with the op operators, while they made progress overnight, there is still a long way to go. After a huge setback Wednesday, Mayor Lumumba said Thursday operators at the crippled OB Curtis water treatment plant made some progress overnight, producing more water. Uh, and that is that we have made some positive gains within the system. Uh, they are encouraged. There has been uh, the installation of an additional pump uh, that helps with the production of water coming in. If we can't produce adequate quantity of water, then the ability to flush toilets, the ability to offer uh, water for to fight fires, et cetera, becomes a major, major issue. Governor Reeves says this pump, which was installed Wednesday, helped boost water production by 4 million additional gallons a day. While the quantity of water is increasing, the governor urged people not to drink the water and not to use it to brush their teeth. Right now, the boil water notice is still in effect. Uh, we still encourage you to boil water um, before you drink it. We understand your impatience with this challenge and all of that is warranted. I just want to assure you that you have a unified front uh, at this hour, at this time, uh, endeavoring to fix it. While state and federal experts are working to examine and fix problems at the plant, an army of citizen soldiers with the Mississippi National Guard deploy to seven mega sites across the city to distribute bottled and non-potable water to the city of 150,000 people who haven't had reliable, clean drinking water for more than a month. And back now here at Metro Center where you see these citizen soldiers, these guardsmen who are leading the effort in the water distribution, these mega sites. Again, there are seven sites across the city and this water will be available until 6.30 tonight. Now, at, again, going back to the problem at hand, the OB Curtis plant, the U.S. Corps of Engineers sending in an expert crew of experts to examine, to do an assessment of those pumps inside the facility to find out what's broken and what needs to be fixed and how soon they can get it to solve Jackson's ongoing water crisis. For now, we're live at Metro Center. Ross Adams, 16 WAPT.